right, we heard a little about the US UFO story that put Kai Koda in the world spotlight 40 years ago. Tonight, we hear more from the people who were actually there, as well as something new. For the first time on TV, we'll hear from the woman who, years before these famous sightings, had her own Kai Koda encounter. What they were, no one has yet satisfactorily explained to me. Former air traffic controller John Cordy is one of the last living Kiwi officials from those incredible December nights in 1978. There's three of them. Yeah, one that is south of the two would be a lot bigger than the other two. Well, it seems to be emitting a brighter light. What makes this sighting harder to dismiss is that, unlike most crazy UFO stories, this one was caught on film. A bit frightening up here, there's a whole formation of unidentified flying objects. An Aussie news crew had heard about the lights, showed up with low expectations, honestly, but then had to grip their cameras tightly, flung into the middle of their own close encounter. Part of that Aussie crew, journalist Quentin Fogarty, couldn't believe what he was seeing. Here is his witness account. We saw this string of lights. It started as a small pinpoint of light and then grew into this large pulsating globe with tinges of orange and red. And I'm sitting there transfixed. We were told afterwards it was the size of a house. It's one thing to discount something you think you've seen, but it's harder to dismiss it when it appears as a dot on the radar. If you wanted to fly in there at night, you had to have a clearance from me. And none of the returns that we saw, apart from the Argosies, had had clearances. We were having telephone calls from people up the Hutt Valley, from people in Blenheim, from the police, saying, have you got any aeroplanes up here? Because we can see strange lights in the sky. The other air traffic controller on duty was Andy Hurd. His son Daniel says his late father never forgot that night. He had described it as otherworldly. Um, because no aircraft could move the way that uh, the blips on the radar screen moved. After an inquiry, the Muldoon government dismissed it as being Venus rising, squid boats, or... The moon shining on a field of cabbages. I mean, come on, radar returns from a field of cabbages. Squid boats doing 180 knots at 14,000 feet, higher than the aeroplane. I don't think so. According to his son, air traffic controller Andy Hurd struggled with his own explanation. My father was a very sensible man. It would have taken a lot for him to believe that, believe that this was something um, as unusual as he did believe it was. Here's another twist to the 40-year-old Kaikota light story. It might actually be 46 years old. Jane Chemist says she saw something above the town as well, but in 1972. There was three rays of very uh, of bright light in an arc going uh, from right to left, um, and it hovered. Those stories confounding experts around the world. I've concluded that the film does not show Venus or Jupiter. It does not show meteors or mating mutton birds. It does not show secret military maneuvers or the squid fishing fleet. I've concluded that the film is not a hoax. So, are we alone in this universe or not? Let's give John the last word. You can't tell me that we are the only people alive in this universe. Sure, they may not all be intelligent life, but some of them must be. They must be. Mm, cool story. Right. Love it. Amazing story. And actually, last night on the show, we invited you to get in touch if you have your own UFO stories, and we got a lot of them on Facebook and on email, so do keep them coming. Uh, you know, in the same vague area as Kaikoura, we heard a really interesting story from Cheviot, from a girl who was out with her mum, and they saw two shining lights flashing in the sky that both, according to her words, disappeared into the same star. Oh, I now, love it. you can it. see that I've spent <laughs> most of the day on the computer just reading these. Like, once you start reading them, you can't stop. So we're sort of collecting them this week. Do get in touch if you've got yeah. one to share. And how's this for a coincidence? Or is it even a coincidence? In the last 24 hours, the US government has declassified three videos. They show UFOs flying beneath US Navy jet pilots. UFOs, of course, unidentified identified flying objects so they couldn't identify them it's definitely what's happening pretty cool video could be green guys hooning, hooning over the atlantic or it could also be just a bug on the wind screen <laughs> no, 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 no. they've ruled out bug on the wind <laughs>